As a triple goddess, Agata represents maiden, mother, and crone. The goddess Agata is mistress of the night and represents the waning two dark cycles of the moon, especially the three days of the dark moon. Agata symbolizes the dark within us, the part of our psyche we refuse to acknowledge. Many ignore the wisdom, the strength, and the truth of Akata because our fear of the darkness is so strong. Hakata is associated with the dark side of the moon, but this is the true moon. The moon has no light of its own, only a reflected light from the sun. Dark is the moon's true color, as is Hakata's. Hakata can be called upon during the waning moon, and more powerfully, during the three days when the moon is dark. In her maiden aspect, the waxing moon, she stands for new beginnings. At this time, she can be called upon when you need to look at something in a new, fresh way. In her mother aspect, when the moon is full, is a time to turn to her when you need nurturing and protection like any mother would give. In her crone aspect, the waning moon, it is a time to turn to for protection, wisdom, and magic. Bear in mind, Hakata is not a goddess full of tenderness and compassion. She is more prone to be stern with you if you brought a situation upon yourself. Her wrath is swift, and just to those who cause harm to a follower of hers, because those who seek her, honor her, and do not fear her are under her protection, and she does not take lightly to those who cause them harm. She does not tolerate, nor does she coddle. Her actions are swift and without frills. So when you do call upon her, be prepared for her swift actions and changes. Hikata teaches us an important lesson, which is that the feminine should be valued for itself, not because it brings sexuality or power, but because deep within it there is an eternal wisdom. Hikata is the high priestess, the keeper of the mysteries. Hakata is not the priestess who seeks the inner knowledge, but the high priestess who has found it and imparts it to others. Hakata, who sits enthroned before the veil of the temple as the high priestess, the card in the tarot which is ruled by the moon. To reach daylight on the other side of the veil, we must all become at one with the dark mother of the night. Whether it be a kata guarding the home or of the temple, she will avert evil and provides protection. Hakata originally was a Thracian and pre-Olympian goddess. Zeus bowed down to her antiquity by granting to Hakata alone a power shared by Zeus that of withholding from humanity anything she wished. He also granted her the powers of the heavens, on earth, and the underworld. He gave her nothing that she did not already have. Of all the goddesses, she is the most markedly triple and the most complex. She haunts graveyards and the scenes of crimes as a goddess of expiration and purification. Hakata is the dark sun mother in both the positive and the negative sense. To those that dare to welcome her, she brings creative inspiration. One of her symbols is the torch, for the dark mother also holds the light which illuminates the unconscious and reveals its treasures. With her torches, she guides those who are seeking the mysteries. The light from these torches will lead those wishing to understand the mysteries. 
Many goddesses carry torches, but the goddess Akata is the only goddess who carries two. In the tarot, she is the threes and the high priestess. Her gems are star sapphire, pearl, moonstone, and crystal. Plants are the yew tree, cypress, opium, poppy, almond, mugwort, garlic, and aloes. Tools are the cauldron, the besom, knives, and the key. Animals are the dogs and horses and black cats. In ancient times, when one saw a black dog at a cemetery, it was said that that was a gata. The owl is her messenger. Her chariot is pulled by dragons. Hagata's colors are silver and black, and some like to use the color purple as well. In some blackbirds, such as ravens and crows, you can see a bit of purple sheen in their feathers. Through Hakata's cauldron, we must look at our true self, the nature of our motives, and the results of our actions. Because only through her cauldron can we truly be reborn in becoming a better person than we were before. Only when we look into her dark cauldron can we see the light. Hakata, and none but she, is queen of all living things. It is through her that all things live or die. She smiles as the energies of the dark moon is everywhere for there is no power like her power, and no living thing can withstand her power. Days of Hikata are August 13th, when she can be honored and prayed to. November 16th is the night of Hikata, which begins at sunset. The 29th of each month is the moon of Hikata. Other festival days of Hikata are May 8th, December 31st, and January 31st. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful evening, and blessed be.